Well, it's Women's Day here in South Africa, Southern Africa, and uh, there's a couple of things. My wife was in the hospital for a few days, nothing serious, as well. she had some observations, whatever it is. Um, but she was on the women's ward, and next to her was a young girl, about um, 19 or so, and um, uh, she was working in a, a salon, you know, a hair, a hair salon, a beauty salon. And uh, she was owned by, uh, she's South African, the, the, it was run by and owned by uh, Ghanaians. And it seemed the upshot of all this, is that uh, basically um, she was working in a shop? She wasn't a head thing. She was doing uh, whatever she was doing. But they were these 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 men um, were, were passing her around. Let's put it that way. I'll be polite about it. Um, and but she's very she was diseased, debilitated, and she I forgot what she was in there for. Uh, whatever she was in there for. And she had just recently got a boyfriend uh, about three months ago, and and he doesn't know about this this situation. But um, but it's 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 a tragic kind of situation, you know. Uh, how, um, especially in these situations, um, men can use uh, use young women. Um, there's this whole thing about uh, the prosecution cycle, which I won't go into here right right now. Um, but I think post maybe I can find a post. I don't know if I can. But uh, but it upset me. It's, it's just upset me. It's tragic. Uh, but more importantly, but not, not more important, but something else happened this this past weekend. Saturday, I was uh, Sunday. I was down in Dubai with my research group because they were having a photo shoot because they're going to put on a, a, a program in a couple of weeks um, and it's going to be a whole day long program. So they had a photo shoot for the advertisement or whatever it is, a guy from, uh, uh, from the radio station supporting it. So they, they're going to do all that. So I was there. But uh, the, the group that I work with right now is they call the Movement. Uh, and um, also another group is Tips to Jolie's is with them also, uh, but they sort of attach themselves to them because, well, for various reasons. So I, I, while I was waiting for this guy, I introduced him to the uh, Wakanda Salute, something that we're working on uh, in the advent of the uh, um, well, Black Panther movie coming out in February. And uh, in fact, I'll put a link to that so I'll explain that. Um, but in this thing, uh, there was these three guys, you know, three little older guys. And let me put it this way, the, the youth in South Africa is defined as under 35, 36, something like that. Uh, a long, that's a long story, but you know, that's, another, that's another thing how that came about. Anyway, so these, these three guys who wouldn't participate, and you can see me in the video telling them, that, you know, if they want to participate to, to chill. Um, and they were, what struck me, they were in the side looking like, like vultures, looking at these young people, you know, like, like young girls. And it took me back to, because I spent a long time in Cape Town, there's a thing called uh, a UWC, the University of Western Cape, and they call it, this not me, that's they said, they call it the University of the Wild Colors. And what would happen every year in the beginning of the, of the, the new year, the new term, uh, the older students would, and men would look down and see what young girls were coming through so that they can, you know, you know uh, you know, deal, yeah, you know, propose, deal, whatever, not propose, but you know, uh, uh, vulture them, let's put it that way. So it, it took me back to what was happening with there, and I, I really, it upset me. I can't get it out of my mind, so I'm going to have to go and deal with it. I'm, de I'm definitely going to have to deal with this, because these young people, and this, this is my research group, you know, it's important for my postgraduate work, and, um, and for me, they're under my protection, so, just, so something won't happen. Um, you know, no, no, nothing about anything like that, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, so it's, it's just, to me, it's, it's tragic the way that uh, young people, but well, women, are treated these days worldwide, you know, and uh, we got to deal with it. Some people got to step up, you know, and it's, it's not, they don't step up, it's, it's the men saying, don't, look, men got to step up, and, and women's got to, women, they, they got to deal too, uh, but anyway, because it, it'll be dealt with. So anyway, let me let me let me, let me just, just just say uh, Happy Women's Day for those folks in, in Southern Africa who observe uh, this particular day. That's a, a dispatch from me, T from the Patterson. Pat, I messed up my own name, weren't I? This is me, T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.